Our guest today is April Bennett from Cornell Cooperative Extension of Jefferson County. And we have a very, very important topic to discuss today. What should you throw away? What should you keep that may or may not have spoiled in your refrigerator due to the power outages? Yes. Thanks so much for being with us. You're welcome. And I know people hate to throw away food right. and we hate to waste money. But it, this is a time when it's best to just err on the side of caution. So uh, the main message is when in doubt, just throw it out. Um, and I know that's really hard for a lot of people to see things go to waste. Uh, but we want to talk about it now in case we do have another power outage so that people can prepare ahead of time. Um, so if you can, now is the time to make sure that you have a cooler, ice, or you can fill containers with water to freeze so that if you do need um, to put anything on ice that you can, Make sure you have thermometers so you can tell. The only way you're really going to be able to tell if your food is safe is by the temperature. Um, you can't tell by the smell, and you certainly should never taste any food to see if it is safe or spoiled. You, you won't be able to, and it's not safe to do that. Um, but if you do lose power, uh, the things in your freezer, if you keep your freezer closed, will last for, they say, between 24 and 48 hours. Um, the only way you'll really know, though, is if it still has ice crystals on it, and if you're able to take the temperature and it's below 40 degrees, then you can refreeze it safely. So uh, that's the rule of thumb for your freezer. For the refrigerator, you've got four hours. So if the refrigerator stays closed and your power goes out and it comes back on uh, in that window of time, then you should be fine. Uh, but after four hours, spoilage can start pretty quickly. And again, the best thing you can do is to temp your food. Make sure you have a working thermometer in your refrigerator at all times. And then if you do put things into a cooler, make sure that that has a thermometer too. Everything should be below 40 degrees um, in the refrigerator in order to stay food safe. But if you're not sure, if you have any doubt whatsoever, throw it out. Okay, so what are some of the things that pose the, the most threat of food poisoning? Sure. Are we talking things like meat? Yep, it's going to be things like meat, any of your proteins, dairy, eggs. Those are the things that are going to spoil the fastest. Um, things like condiments and uh, bread or baked goods, those things uh, have a little bit longer shelf life, so they will, you, you can be a little bit more uh, certain that those things will be okay. There is a really great resource, and I believe you have the website for it right, at foodsafety.gov. Yep. Mm -hmm. They have a chart, and it will show you exactly which things need to be discarded right away and which things you could hang on to for a little bit longer. Um, but again, you know, it, nothing is worth anyone's health. Food, uh, foodborne illness is really serious, especially for small children, the elderly, pregnant women, or anyone who has any sort of immune comp uh, compromise situation. You just can't, you don't want to take a risk, um, but for none of us, uh, because it is, it is deadly. So when in doubt, throw it out. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Very informative. We appreciate uh, the tips. Yep. Good luck, everybody. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you very much, and we'll be right back. Thank you.